Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com in Business Mathematics. Let us discuss about EMI, Equated Monthly Installment. An Equated Monthly Installment, EMI, is a fixed payment made by a borrower to a lender on a specified date of each month. EMIs are applied to both interest and principal each month so that over a specified time period, the loan is paying paid off in full. This is a formula for EMI calculation. A fixed payment amount made by a borrower to a lender at a specified date each calendar month, equated monthly installment are used to pay off both interest and principal each month. So that over a specified number of years, the loan is paid off in full. With most common types of loans, such as real estate mortgage, the borrower makes fixed periodic payment to the lender over the course of several years with the goal of repaying the loan. EMIs differ from variable payments plan in which the borrower is able to pay higher payment amount at his or her discretion. When a person takes loan from a bank to buy a house for a fixed tenure, he has to pay EMI, equated monthly installment. EMI is the term used for the monthly payment made by a borrower to the lender towards interest and principal money borrowed. The amount of loan. EMI depends primarily on the amount of loan you have taken. With an increase in the loan amount, the EMI to be paid also increases. Tenure of the loan. Next, most important factor is the time for which the which have taken the loan. The EMI decreases with the increase in the tenure of the loan. But one should understand the increase in tenure means that you will have to pay more interest to the bank because time payment of time is longer. So you have to pay more interest for every tenure. Since you will be having an outstanding amount against you for a longer time, you will have to pay some extra for taking more time. Complete your loan as soon as possible. For a longer tenure of loan, one has to pay more interest. So, one should plan prudently and pay back the loan as soon as possible. Now, let us do an example problem to understand this concept. Very clear. Look at here. Mrs. Geeta borrowed rupees 4 lakhs, purchased a machine for the factory by EMI scheme. She accepted to repay the amount in, in 5 years with 8% per annum interest. Find EMI amount. Look at here. Here, first we'll write the given things. The principal P borrowed is 4 lakhs, 4 lakhs rupees, rate of interest is 12% per annum, which is equal 12 by 100. 0 0.12 0 0.12 per annum which is further equal 0 0.12 divided by 12 which is equal 0 0.01 per month this we need for the calculation R now N equal tenure in month. Tenure in months. Here he borrowed, she borrowed a loan for five years. That means tenure month is five years into twelve, which is sixty months. That is sixty. Then you says to repeat. 
Now EMI formula equal monthly installment payment is equal to principal into R into 1 plus R power N over 1 plus R power N minus 1. This is a formula for EMI calculation. Now we will apply the values here. P equal 4 lakhs rupees R. R is 0 0.01 into 1 plus R is 1.1 1 1 plus 0 0.01 power 60 over 1 plus 0 0.01 over 60 minus 1 which is equal 4 lakhs into 0 0.01 into 1.01 power 60 over 1.01 60 minus 1 which gives approximately by using calculator which gives rupees 8,896 approximately EMA per payment is that is EMA is equal to 8,896 years to pay. Here note the point. Now, she has to pay 8,896 EMA for 5 years. 5 means 60 months. Therefore, if you multiply 8,896 into 60, which gives Eight eight nine six into sixty, which gives rupees five lakhs thirty three thousand seven hundred and sixty. So she took a loan for lakh, but she has to pay five lakhs thirty three thousand seven hundred sixty. Therefore, interest. Interest is 533760 minus 4 lakh, which is equal 1 lakh 33,760. This much extra money she has to pay. That is 1, 1 lakh 633,760 is an interest. So far we discussed about what is EMI and its uh, various factors and regarding one solving problem we have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.